I'm Kim Littlefield, and today we're going to talk about NIH's uh, rigor and transparency policy uh, with respect to biological variables. There are four specific variables, and this is not all inclusive. Uh, uh, those variables might include age, weight, sex, um, uh, propensity to disease states, and all of these different variables uh, may affect outcomes and should be considered when uh, you're designing your research. If you're designing a scientific experiment, you want it to be um, using animal models or human models. You want, it, you want your results to be as generalizable to the human population, the human condition, as, it, as they can be. And that means utilizing both sexes um, within your experiments. There are certainly times when it would be justifiable to use only one sex. If you're studying ovarian cancer or prostate cancer, obviously you're going to use the female and male populations respectively. The number one question that uh, everyone asks is, you know, do I have to double my sample size um, in order to be in compliance with this policy? And, and you don't. You can present your data as pooled data, but to also present it disaggregated, so into both male and female data. Um, it, it just gives a much uh, broader, more comprehensive picture of all of the data, and um, you know, it could be useful to see if there are actually trends or differences between the sexes um, given what you're trying to measure. The whole key to this is um, so that someone um, uh, at another institution, uh, perhaps another colleague could reproduce this data, um, could reproduce the conditions under which this data was collected. So knowing um, that you used male and females, uh, knowing what the outcomes were for males and females, knowing that you just used one sex um, and how that, how that might affect the outcomes is, is it is just um, incumbent on the researcher to want to have that information accessible to the reviewers and to the and to the, the the their scientific colleagues who are reading the papers, the manuscripts that come from the research. So it is a scorable criteria. Consideration of sex as a biological variable or any biological variable should be included in the research strategy um, uh, discussion within the application, and reviewers will be asked to, to look for that specifically as they review the, the proposal. The use of both sexes, um, standardized weight criteria, standardized age ranges, these all make a more rigorous um, experimental design possible, and the presentation of the results, disaggregated male and female in a pool, um, is just a way to make uh, the presentation of the data more transparent. They're looking that you address it, uh, that you address, that you acknowledge, um, that you justify the use of your models and the sexes that you're using, or the differences in weight, or the differences in age uh, of the models that you use. 